today we're going to have a look at the HG LRC Spectre 6 inch build with the Emacs motors. Hi, welcome back to Colf GRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colf GRC. So, first off, I must apologise for the noise in the background, it's rain, um, but it's not going to be all the way through this video, it's going to be on the beginning bit when I'm showing you what we're going to do. So, today we're going to do a build on this. This is the HGLRC Spectre. This is a 6 inch frame, and as you can see, it's a freestyle frame. And we're going to do a 6 inch build, and it's going to be a quite a cheapish 6 inch build. Uh, let me just show you what components we've got. So, this is the frame itself. Comes with the TPU uh, mount, well, this is PLA actually, but it comes with the TPU mount at the back, which is horrendous. The mounts are horrendous. I've had to drill these through to make them fit, but I probably won't be leaving them on. The frame itself seems decent, uh, apart from I mean, the fit on these arms is a little bit, looks like the screws haven't been drilled quite in the right place, but it's gone together okay. It's nicely finished off carbon, it's got smooth off edges, slightly chamfered, nice and thick arms. And you can see it's got no flex or very little flex. So in the box for the frame you do get some stickers, you get a battery strap and the bits for your stack. Let's put that to one side. So that's the frame itself. We're then going to use, I've opened one of these I think, these are the Emacs motors we're going to use. So these are the Emacs economy motors. So the Ecos. And these are 17, I think these are 1750, 2306 motors. Yeah, 2306, 1750. So we're gonna, we're gonna fly some 6S. So this is gonna be a 6S build for the six inch model. As you can see, let me just get that to focus in. They're a nice motor, these. They are economy, these work, I think they're under 10 pounds each. So you can't go wrong with, you can pick these up in the UK. The only thing I do think about this, very short wires, and if you've watched some of the other builds I've done, I like to bring my wires round the back, into the back of the ESC. There's no way I can do that on it. So this is, these just fit and no more. So these are the motors, obviously come with the prop nuts, and your screws to hold them on. But all in all, very feel very, very smooth. I can't fault them on that point of view. We're going to use the Eosheen TX805. I've heard a lot of good things about this, never had one. And I think these are about a tenner also. So this is the one we're going to use, and I think this is, yeah, 800 milliwatts and it sports smart audio. So this will have smart audio on the build. As you can see, it's nice. What I do like about this even more is that you do get in here. Standard antenna if you want to use it, but more importantly for me, a pigtail so I can bring this out the back of the frame. A lot of these don't have, they tend to have, they might have one in the box, but not both, so that's really nice. I, I, I like this for 10 quid, I don't think you can go wrong, and I like I say, I feel a lot of good things about this, but proof will be in the pudding. So that's the VTX we're going to use. Stack wise, we're going to use my favourite, which is the Mamba F405 stack. The reason I use these as uh, 6S stack, it's Silly low money, these are under 40 quid and they're a nice stack. You've seen me use these before on other builds, but yeah, I really do like these. Easy to do, the pin, pin outs are good on them, it's not too hard to solder. So we're going to use that. And then, prop wise, we've got the Gemfan Flash 6042s. These are the obviously three blades. And then the only bit I have splurred, oh sorry, I got an Emacs Pagoda, because I've heard these are quite decent. Let's try on the back, let's try one of these out, it's a stubby Pagoda, again these are cheap. So this lot, I think, came to about 110 quid, 108 quid. So if you wanted to put a cheapish camera in there, you could have a cheap build. And the only bit I have splurred on is one of these, because I wanted to try it out. This is the Runcam Micro 3. So it's different as in the cable's different and I believe it's less latency than the original but proof of it, probably let's see what it's like when we fly with it but I wanted to put this into a build so this is why we're putting this in here now I think I should virtually, I don't know if I'll have props out of shot but they're certainly going to be very close to out of it because of the way these arms are on 6 inch so, they're the bits 
Let me go fit the motors, put the ESC on, and I'll show you it soldered up to the ESC and how much room we've got on these wires, and if there's been any problems so far. Thanks ever so much. We'll be back in a minute. So this is what we've done so far. We've got the motors on. The motors just bought up dead easy. What I would recommend, I haven't chopped my wires down and I couldn't bring them around the back. The reason I didn't chop them down is because I probably won't be leaving it on this frame for that much, for very long. I want to swap frames and try new frames out. So I've left the wires, but I would if I recommend cutting them shorter. I've got my capacitor on there, I've brought my battery lead up the side. And the other thing I've done is mounted my VTX. And the reason I mounted my VTX is to see how long these wires need cutting. So there's it so far. Very simple so far, the build be. So now I'm going to go away and um, put on the flight controller, wire that open. I'll show you the flight controller when it's wired up before I put the top on. So as you can see, we've got the flight controller mounted in now. And all we've done is taken the three wires from the VTX, which is uh, the video wire, the smart audio wire and the earth wire. You don't need to take the positive wire to this because this is running off anything between, this is running off VBAT. So I've powered into the VBAT connection there. So this will run off VBAT voltage. It's not a five volt one. And then this is my camera wire. It's just ready to plug into the run cam. And then I plugged my receiver into here and brought it outside. So it's been quite, not that bad a build to be fair, but trying to place everything wasn't that easy and I had a little bit of problems with the wires from this um, BTX, I'm not that keen on this BTX to be honest anyway we can see what that's like in the flight test so I'm going to go mount the camera and the only thing else I've got to do is the camera I'm putting in here is the run cam 3 mini uh, and it is too small so we're going to have to pack it out with maybe some washers or some I've got some silicon washers that we're going to pack it out with so let's put the top on and I'll get the camera and I'll show you what I mean Okay, so here it is built. So as you can see, I've got the camera in, and I've, I don't think you can see very well in here, but I've got two little silicon washers at either side of this plate, which is enough to bring it, make it fit. The other thing I've done different is, I replaced the antenna with this GEPRC one, and I managed to get the motor wires to go under my stack and bring them out the back, rather than have them in the front like I had. So, the, the reason this has been a bit of a difficult build for me is because the VTX on the back of this, which is the Eosheen, works when it feels like it and it kept working and not working I didn't know if it was a problem with the board so I had to desolder it, resolder it I didn't have a spare to test with it so this will be coming off and don't like it at all not, not a fan at all and I'll have a different VTX I'm going to put the Chaos 800 milliwatt in here apart from that it wasn't that bad a build this TPU mount on the back of it is completely useless if you wanted to put your antennas through it or anything, it's absolutely awful. And the frame going together, some of these weren't machined properly so I've had to drill out most of the holes at the bottom of here. So apart from that, it's not been that bad a build. I couldn't say I recommend the frame from a point of view of finish and fit and finish. We'll have to see what it's like when we do a flight test. So as you can see I've got it wired up to here, normal way I've got a three position switch, I've got buzzer on here for the, from the beacons and I've got arm here. Let me just arm it and I can show you on the screen. Can you see that? So it does a props in shot, but that's not a major issue for me. It was always going on in this frame. And these electronics probably won't be staying in this frame, I'll probably do a swap out to some other frames. I've got another couple in mind that I want to swap it to, so I probably will swap them. But it's not been that bad a build. I love this little thing. This thing's amazing for setting up. It's just also to set up all I need is this now. I just need my transmitter. It's fantastic. Don't get me wrong, I wouldn't want to fly with it. But I think it's great for what it does. Really is nice. So it's cheap build. I think it's probably if you don't if I didn't put this camera on, if I hadn't put the run cam on, this would be like a 130 quid build. If I'd have put a normal camera on. So a cheap camera would have probably come in about 130, 135 quid, which isn't bad for six inch. I love the sound of these props. I don't, I've only, all I've done is a hover test outside and I've just flown it up and down the street once and give it a little bit of a pump. I test on 4S, even though this is going to be, the, the uh, flight you'll see will be 6S because it's a 6S obviously build, uh, just to put the 4S on to test it and to see what my battery voltage and amperage draw look like. But these motors seem quiet and smooth, these props seem lovely, so. Yeah, so let's see what the flight test looks like. So thanks ever so much for watching. I'll have the flight test video up shortly. And once again, have a fantastic day. 
thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up